Hey guys, what's up? Judo Highlights here. Uh, a new kind of a video for you today. I thought I'd break down Ono Shohei, his techniques, his tactics, his defense, his gripping strategies, um, and just all around. He is a great, great judoka. Plays the game perfectly. Uh, outstanding technique, but obviously look at the tactics here, you know. Dragging people down, forcing them to the edge of the tatami. Showing great defense against world-class opposition. I mean, just pulling people up like this, you know, it kind of makes them look like they're going to get a shido. He almost never drops down to the ground in a way uh, that warrants a shido against him. And look at these defensive tactics here, you know. Uh, pushing people outside the tatami, defending the uchimata perfectly, and then always staying in the center of the tatami, forcing people on the outside. I mean, he's not going for an attack here, but he's just forcing Basili out. Two Shido's up, looking to get a third. So, uh, Ono Shohei, just, just an incredible judoka. So, right versus left, Ono Shohei generally likes to take a, a grip from underneath. He will often feed his lapel hand from his left to his right. And I generally think he'll take a top grip if uh, he thinks he has a, a dominant top grip position, which means he's beating the person left versus right, or he feels that that person is better than him at the left versus right game, as you see against Ibi Numa here. And the reason for this is I think Ono Shohei has actually developed um, playing left versus right without focusing too much on the sleeve. So you'll see here against An Chan Ning, he's, he's got a double lapel grip left versus right holding low around the, the waist area. And he takes several grips like this, and he's also got an awkward sleeve grip. It's actually borderline pistol, as you can see here. So to summarize, left versus right, defending the grips, looking for a sleeve, but more so looking to feed that hand. Feeds it, and then look at this, breaks the grip, breaks the grip and pulls his opponent onto him. And now blue is coming towards Ono, and that's what he wants. So he can grab the sleeve, take that pistol grip that he likes, and then a little step with the left foot, to generate movement, in with the Uchimata. And his Uchimata is set up with what we call the wave here in Japan. And basically it's just a, a way to generate motion, break balance without using too much strength. Right versus right now, and totally different approach. Left foot forward, left hand goes first, looking to get that hand on the lapel or near the armpit. And at all costs, he will not let you get the undergrip. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but he wants you to take that big grip over the top. So, left hand searching first, grabbing the lapel, defending the top grip just with movement and pushing out from the chest. And then when he can, he looks for his own top grip. But, on the way to do that, he's, he's defending with his right hand, his opponent's left hand as well. Uh, also, he plays traditional as well, so um, he'll he'll avoid that lapel grip and just go for the sleeve and here we see that awkward sleeve grip that he's got once again But yes for the most part this is his game plan left foot forward left hand goes first defending with the right Any grip he'll take over the top grip or just straight lapel and now he's got double lapel forward pressure forward momentum defending the overhand grip and then, just to set up his Osotogari, a little shuffle to the left, in he goes. So next, uh, right versus left, Ono Shohei does this lovely foot sweep. And I would say that it is his most used technique, his most frequent technique. He does this all the time, left versus right. And I think that double lapel that he likes to take... Uh, because he's he's not fishing for that sleeve grip so heavily as a lot of other people really allows them to just pull people in and just throw that ashibarai out there he doesn't often score with it but what he does do with it is generate momentum and drop people to their knees and you know what's going to come after that a shido is going to come at some point so uh, this little foot sweep here is really really core to his game and look at that, it just kind of stops Basili in his tracks, drops his posture, and sets up the Uchimata. Right, let's talk about some right versus left attacks now, some other attacks. 
other than this little foot sweep that he does, the big techniques. So, uh, right versus left, Uchimata is his go-to. That's what he wants to do. Uchimata, he's looking for it all the time. And I'll just freeze frame it here. See that grip on the sleeve? That's an awkward grip. Let me know in the comments, do you think it's a pistol grip? I don't know, it's 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 borderline. But um, I actually know Shrazdashvili, he does something very similar. Right versus left situation, same situation with an Uchimata. So I guess a lot of high level people are noticing that this grip is really, really good for Uchimata. Left versus right. So next exchange is kind of interesting. Here's that pistol grip again. Inside grip on the lapel. This is kind of like a rotating Uchimata, but in the next exchange he does a hooking Uchimata. Hooks the leg and then goes. So a lot of varieties of Uchimata, left, first, right. Next we've got two techniques that you don't see too often from him. A drop down Seo Inage. Uh, in the Rio Olympics he actually scored with this technique. And here we have a Kochi Makikomi as well. Turning the corner, dropping in with it. Beautiful work. Dropping to his knees, you don't see that often. But watch the pull with the leg, the left leg. There it is. And he, di he didn't get the score, but you can see the, the momentum that he's generating with his left leg as he's pulling people onto him. Is that drop down Seonui again. But no score, but you can see this is definitely a technique that he has and practices left against right. Tomoinage now, similar to Maruyama, fakes the Uchimata, goes for the Tomoinage. Here's that Uchimata again, pulling with the left leg, it's very fast, it's very subtle. He's always moving with that left leg to pull and generate power and pull people onto him. He's Ebinuma now, Sumigaishi, really really awkward but I want to show here one of the things that makes him so great is he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. There's that left versus right foot sweep I was telling you about, faking the Uchimata. Looking to jump in there and looking to counter as well. Alright, right versus right. And to me, this is where the magic happens. Come on. It doesn't get better than that. So, that left hand in the armpit. And he doesn't care about your overhand grip. He is going to break that and destroy it. He does not care how strong you are. He is stronger than you. And that's just how it is. And it? Well, he is he is obviously incredibly strong, but technically he knows how to deal with that overhand grip. You see how he dodges it here? And then he loves it when, when it's a cross grip. He'll jump in there so quick when there's a, a cross grip. Right versus right. See, here it is again. Move to the side. Also the body. And people know it's coming. Forward pressure, defending the top grip, his own top grip is strong. And it's a matter of time. Side shuffle. You'd think people would see it coming, you know? It's, he does it so, so often. And this one, also very interesting. This is why he puts his left foot forward when it's right versus right, because he can step back and generate that momentum for the Uchimata. Right here, see the swing? So. It's definitely a strategic thing, putting his left foot forward, left versus right, forward pressure, and always being able to move him for that Uchimata. See him here defending, not letting him get the undergrip on the left hand. Jumping in for that Osotogari he loves so much. Forward pressure, controlling his opponent's left hand with his right, gets his lapel grip, jumps in. Is it Osotogari or is it Uchimata? Now that's a question for you. Because look, it starts off as an also Lugari, but how he finishes it looks like an Uchimata. Anyway, this is why I categorize things by intent. He intended to do an also Lugari, but it ended up like that way. Who cares? His intention was also Lugari. Alright guys, um, if you like these videos, let me know. I think I'll make shorter ones. I'll break it up into sections. Kumikata, uh, his also his Uchimata, his tactics, his defense. Uh, but let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.